Speak the word, speak the word, speak the word. Steps to the Anointing Written by Dag Hewitt Mills Read by Michelle McKinney Hammond You must be anointed because no one can fulfill his ministry by natural might or by human power, but only by the Spirit. You must be anointed because even Jesus Christ waited to be anointed before beginning his ministry. You must be anointed because even the apostles were asked to wait for the Holy Spirit, the anointing, before beginning their ministry. You must be anointed because great prophets like Elisha asked for the anointing when given the opportunity to ask for what they wanted. You must be anointed because King Saul was not transformed into another man until he was anointed. Why do you seek something else when great prophets seek the anointing? Saul was transformed from an ordinary person into a king when he was anointed. In the same way, you will become a man of authority, a king in the kingdom of God when you are anointed. David attributed almost every aspect of his life to the anointing. Highly spiritual people recognize the powerful effects of the anointing on different areas of their lives. The Holy Spirit, the anointing, was the most precious thing to him. In the book of Exodus, we see how Moses refused to carry on his ministry if God removed his power and anointing. When Moses referred to the presence, he was referring to the anointing and the power of God. May God open your eyes to see the value of his anointing on your life. Speak the word, speak the word, speak the word.